All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel to each and every one of you guys from the Cardano community. Appreciate each and every one of you guys for tuning in on a day to day basis and showing tremendous amount of love. I um, mean, appreciate you guys continue supporting and you will continue to see these day to day updates as I bring. So, if we're looking at the overall markets right now, um, obviously. If you do follow me on a day-to-day -day basis, you guys know I usually do um, late-night updates, um, and I'm based out here in North America. But you know, if we're looking at the markets, guys, you know, Bitcoin was able to push towards a new all-time high. So yay, kudos, give yourself a clap. But if you do uh, follow me on my channel, you guys know that I was expecting this move. Um, you know, obviously going into Monday morning, especially got it, getting the confirmation where Bitcoin closed its daily candle on Sunday. So lovely. On that sorry but um, you know, if you're looking at the overall market you know obviously with this Bitcoin push towards an all-time high the entire market is reacting including ADA up 1.4 percent but let's take a closer look because there are some interesting things going on with its overall ecosystem so if you're looking at the price right now 74 cents is its current price up 0.1 percent over the past 24 hours in USD comparative but we're down about 2.1 percent in Bitcoin comparative over the past 24 hours but now if we're looking at its market cap it's currently sitting at 26.1 billion dollars in the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at 776.9 million so what we're seeing is compared to yesterday we have seen the trading volume increasing so that is nice of course we can't complain about that but um, before we go into it any further as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so Alexander Berner uh, posted this on LinkedIn and um, you know he goes out and says criminal investigations secured by the Cardano blockchain. Today, the Dubai police presented at the World Police Summit in Dubai an exciting blockchain-based pilot project. The project will showcase how sensitive data from criminal investigations can be shared securely with authorities such as Interpol. Uh, concretely, bullet scans done by a highly sophisticated scanner are shared among international stakeholders on the Cardano blockchain. The blockchain ensures that the data is not tampered with and can be tracked among various stakeholders, making sure that the data can be securely shared and managed in a decentralized network of stakeholders is becoming more and more relevant in industries from energy defense to IoT. Blockchain technology can be one of the enabling tools for that. And again, you know. Cardano is one of the many other projects that are actually bringing real world, um, you know, utility. And this is one of the examples. And a lot of people don't see this. And you're, another project that a lot of people completely don't pay attention to in terms of, you know, what it's doing for the real world is VeChain. Obviously, if you are, um, you know, in the crypto space or if you are a VeChain holder, you know exactly what VeChain is doing, you know. It's doing so much for our environment. And on top of that, you know, it's working with some of the biggest names, you know, that we come across on our day to day life. And, you know, this is the beauty of blockchain. A lot of projects are going to bring their own expertise and their own tools, their own um, unique tech. Um, but, you know, this is really, really nice, even though it's pilot, but great great stuff but now let's go further and see what's happening so btc dominance right now you know picking up right now and going up to 54 percent is this a surprise absolutely not because we are seeing bitcoin breaking at to an all-time high so wow just let's kind of just look at you know bitcoin i'm not going to move this um you know uh, Fibonacci retracement level towards an all-time high right now. I'm going to give it, um, you know, this night. And then when I do <clears throat> updates in the morning, I will go ahead and um, readjust this Fibonacci retracement. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, but yeah, if you're looking at, um, you know, the price of Bitcoin as of recording this update, it's currently sitting at $71,300. And especially if you look at it on the hourly time frame, you know, it's just a side of complete beauty. Uh, let me just switch it to hourly. And there you are. Just look at that, guys. Beautiful. Oopsies, we don't want to get rid of the Fib zone. So what you're looking at is just going to quickly briefly go over Bitcoin's price. So we did see Bitcoin, um, you know, retest its uh, all time high two different times. But, you know, we got a rejection. But this time around, we did finally pop out. And even though we did see a rejection, the fact that, you know, Bitcoin was able to close at $66,800. Uh, I'm sorry, $68,000. Uh, 
$68,600 just um, you know yesterday was beautiful and that gave me an indication that we could see a massive breakout for Bitcoin going into Monday and it happened sooner than I expected obviously it's um, you know midnight uh, here uh, so yeah that's lovely lovely stuff to see so kudos to anyone that picked up Bitcoin as well as you know any uh, crypto over the past um, you know few months I'm sure people are smiling and you know speaking about people smiling you know recently my recent update which was just um, yesterday I got a lot of comments coming in and the, the comments are you know really really frustrating to even see and these are you know I've been accumulating uh, Cardano for such a long time and it hasn't done anything well right from that statement itself I really hope that you know these people that are saying that are accumulating more projects not just Cardano if you're just picking only Cardano solely in your portfolio and not diversifying your portfolio then you're damaging your own potential returns no one else is don't blame this to on anyone else uh, you know you are to blame you need to learn the definition of diversifying um, but you know you're gonna get some people that are not fans of it and again you know if you're not a fan of it that's totally up to you you know the opportunities are endless there's so many other projects out there that you could do your due diligence on but if you're solely you know kind of mad at the fact that you know you're seeing the rest of the market kind of exploding right now but you're not seeing um, you know Cardano exploding then you know check your portfolio and if in your portfolio you only have ADA then I think you need to strategize your portfolio once again but if you're looking at Cardano's price right now once again let me just shift this to an hourly time frame so once again we did see a bounce from the 78.6 zone exactly from the 78.6 zone and I know at this point everyone understands okay we get it crypto ZX that, you know the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level is really really important but I always want to indicate this I haven't been just speaking about the 78.6 like a broken record um, you know over the past two to three months for no reason I want you guys to understand the importance of that and look at it you know we did see a pullback today just a few hours back um, but you know we retested the 78.6 and boom seen a bounce so if you had some buy orders placed in around here uh, you know to get some ADA at about 68.7 cents which is the um, you know support line uh, for the 78.6 you did see a bounce of about 8% so you know it's back to where it left off so what is this telling us especially the newcomers coming into the space what is this telling you you don't want to get a shaken out especially in a bull market you know the trend is definitely bullish right now and I think the next 12 to 14 months is going to be a bullish uh, upwards trend we might see shakeouts in between don't get me wrong it's not that you're just going to be a straight pretty line towards the top we might see shakeouts uh, during um, you know the time um, in between but you know the trend I think uh, in my opinion especially speaking historically I think we are going to be heading in the upwards trajectory but overall great stuff happening um, you know patience guys have patience <laughs> once we do see ADA breaking out you will see promise I promise you guys this once this happens you will see a lot of people mega bullish on um, ADA all of a sudden people are gonna just say ADA is the best thing in the world which is going to be really funny to see and believe it or not that time is coming sooner than a lot of people think so targets are the same right now we're gonna take it one step at a time I don't like really discussing all-time highs just right now I take it one step at a time do I believe it has the potential to t hit an all-time high absolutely I do I personally think in my opinion that you know it has the potential but we're gonna take it one step at a time it needs to get to some crucial levels before we start discussing all-time highs so that is that for today's update do let me know down below what you guys think love you all see you tomorrow with crypto ZX and peace out